Now, how do I write, design, and self-publish my books? <laughs> Step two. What I do is I'll create specific folders on my computer to store all the files that I'll create for publishing a new book. You know, you can't write 20 plus books like I have and not be organized. You will lose where your files are. You won't know where stuff is. You just got to stay organized. And I learned that very early on. Hence, I came up with an amazing folder creation system for writing books. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So as you go through the rest of the videos in this series, be thinking to yourself, you know, Bart talked about those folders and I can see why, because it helped me from the onset to stay organized. So come on, let me show you what I do to create specific folders on my computer to store all the files that I'll create for publishing a new book. Hey, so I don't know where you store your files and folders are mostly. Some people do it on their desktop. They might put them in documents or C drive, or maybe they have an external hard drive, which is what I do. I use a lot of external hard drives on my computer. I kind of learned, you know, computers come and go and they crash and I just want my files safe. So I keep them off the laptop and that's not always safe either because external hard drives can also crash. But for the most part, I like working off of external hard drives. So in this particular case, we have a main drive and then I've got a folder called my stuff. I, I kind of always kind of felt kind of, you know, my stuff. So I have a folder there and normally there'd be a bunch of other folders in here, documents and video and, you know, all kinds of folders. But in this lesson, I'm making it just simple for you to focus on. So just picture creating a folder called all my books. Okay. All my books. And inside there for me, I have a folder called my books, which is where my books are found. And then I actually have done work for clients and their books. So I have a folder called client books. If you don't have clients that you work on their books for, that's okay. You won't need this folder, but this is what I do. And I'm giving you a peek into my world. And then I have a folder called templates and inside templates, I have all of the preset created folders that I associate with every new book title covers. This is where I design the covers and they're going to go in this folder pages. This is where I work on the interior pages of the book, laying them out, the front pages, the body pages, they go in here, the printer, all the files related to the printer that I will create and generate out of the pages. I'm going to export into this folder because it's the printer files that I need to upload ebook. After I'm done with the paperback book, I'm going to go create the ebook version and those files will go in here. When I'm all done with the paperback and the ebook, I'll probably go and record the book. And so the audiobook files will go in here. Photography for the book that might be related to the book, pictures, video, marketing, reference. You know, if I can't file it in one of these folders here, I'll probably just throw it in reference right now. And feel free to create some other folders related to your book. It's up to you, right? So in templates, I already have all these folders pre created. Because I like to do things simply and I like to do things fast. So let's go up to my books and let's create a new folder for a new book title. And we're going to call it my amazing book title. Yeah. Isn't it original? Kind of cute. Yeah. Good. Okay. So once that's created, I'll double click and I'm going to go back to the templates folder and I'm going to highlight these. And I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to copy all these folders. Then I'm going to go over to my amazing book title folder and I'm going to right click and paste all those folders in seconds. And now guess what? I'm ready to work on this book title, my amazing book title. And inside the covers is where I'm going to begin to design my covers when I'm ready. And then pages, check this out pages. I have templates for any size book I want to create and a little empty folder for book notes. This is empty. It's a text file, but these files right here, these are for the publisher program that I use affinity publisher. Now, what book size am I going to write? Well, I'm going to write a book that's sized five and a half by eight and a half. So guess what? I'm going to take these files and I'm going to delete them. Goodbye.
And now the only ones left are the five and a half by eight and a half. And then where it says template, I'll probably put the initials of my new amazing book title. So let's call this my amazing book title. <laughs> okay. And I'll do the same thing down here. Just delete that. My amazing book title. And to me, I kind of know what this means. It's just an initial acronym for my book. It helps me with all the other books that I've written too. So that's kind of cool. So you can imagine inside your new title folder for your new book, you're going to have all of these folders already created. And all you got to do is start. You know, the covers will go in here, pages, printer files, ebook files. When you're done and ready to record the book, your audio files, any photography related to you, the author, and your book, video, marketing, reference, you're set. Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's just repeat what we got here. We've got a folder called All My Books. And in my case, I have a few folders, my books, my client books, and a book for templates that has all of the folders ready to copy. And then in pages, I've already preset the templates that are associated with the publishing program that I use called Affinity Publisher. And I just have them all. But when I'm done and I know which ones I'm not going to write for, I'll just delete them, you know, and get rid of them. And I'm off to the races. Well, hey, I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments below what you think. And that's really the important thing to stay organized because as you write one book or you write a second book and you just have all these books that you're writing for, you need to stay organized. And that's why I came up with this system years ago to help me stay organized because I know where everything is for any book, a cover, an interior page printer files, audio, I, I got it all and it's all organized. As you proceed through the remainder of the videos in this series, be saying to yourself, wow, I remember Bart showing me how to stay organized with my book files with that folder video and that sequence of folders that he created. I can see how that can really help me stay organized because as you write your book, you're going to be overwhelmed with research or uh, chapters and titles and content. And the last thing you need to be worried about is, uh, where was that file that I was working on? No, 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 no. You're not going to have that problem. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments below and let's proceed to the next video in this series on how I go about creating a cover for my books, you know, that I want to create and write for. And I do it for inspiration. Like, Oh, I got a great book idea. Well, I'm going to go design a cover for it. Right now, I'm inspired. Give me something colorful to work with. Give me a palette and some colors and a, a paintbrush, you know, in the computer. And then I'll create the cover and I'll send it to my phone. I'll keep it in the folder related to that book. So anyhow, that's in the next video. Again, I hope you liked this one. Let's proceed to the next one in this series on how I write and design and self-publish my books. Come on, you're doing great.